Hello there. Good to be with you today and a very warm welcome to Cruising with the Stars. Now, you know we're quite big on tribute acts here. We get lots of really good ones and uh, today is no exception. We've got an award-winning Neil Diamond tribute, but he also goes out under his own name. It is the fabulous Johnny D. Good to have you here today, Hi. Johnny. Nice. Where have you travelled from? I uh, come down from Leeds. Right. Yeah. So cold and frosty days we've had behind oh, us. Yes, sir, we have. Let's hope we're going to have some uh, better <laughs> ones in front of us. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to okay. take a little teaser and have just a quick 30 seconds of you, okay. just to give our audience a taste of what sure. you do. Here we go. So there we go, Johnny D, and we'll be hearing the full version of that a little bit later. Where did it all begin for you, Johnny? Were, did, were you from a musical family? Um, well, my father, believe it or not, used to be a choir boy in the uh, Durham Cathedral. Wow. Yeah, so yeah. Hence, uh, it, it must have come down the line somewhere. Did, were you ever a choir boy? No, no, I wasn't, <laughs> no. Um, but for me, it start, believe it or not, it started um, in amateur theatre. Right. And how it came to about uh, getting into the theatre was... I was actually listening to a local radio station yeah. uh, one day in the car and they were giving some tickets away yeah. um, for an amateur dramatics production of competition. Right. So I thought, oh, I'll, get, I'll, I'll enter. Yeah. So I entered the competition and I actually won the tickets. Brilliant. And uh, so uh, off we toddled off to, off to Harrogate Theatre yeah. where um, the Harrogate Phoenix players were performing. Yeah. And uh, I thought, oh, I love this. Can you remember what the show was? Um, I think it was singing in the rain. I think. Oh, lovely! Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not 100 percent on that, but. And were you sort of youngish at this time? What sort of uh, age? Well, were you? going back 10 years. Yeah. Uh, ten, about 10 and 11 years, yeah. and um, it was it was as I said, I just love this, ah. and I wouldn't mind you know helping out you know mm. backstage or something like that. Yeah. And. Um, it just as luck happened that the following day, I was filling the car up with petrol, went into pay in the kiosk. And the guy behind the counter was in the chorus the night before. Right. And yeah. uh, I said, you were in the chorus last night, weren't you? The theatre. He says, yeah. He said, did you enjoy it? I said, I absolutely loved it. Yeah. And I said, and to be honest, I wouldn't mind coming and helping out, you know, because yeah. at the time I had a nine to five job. What were you doing at the time? At the time, I'm a qualified printer. That was my <gasps> right, trade. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, so hence, I had time on my hands on it, on, in the evening. Mm. Uh, not like now, of course. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, so he said, well, we're, we're starting a new show, uh, yeah. rehearsing next week, yeah. um, and it's called Songs from the Shows. Yeah. And, uh, well, I love, the, I love musicals anyway. Mm. And um, so he says, well, where do you live? So I said, just around the corner. He said, I'll pick you up next Wednesday, half past seven on the corner. Yeah. So he picked me up, and off we toddled off to... To, to rehearsals, yeah. me thinking I was going to help out doing backdrops and yeah. things like that. Yeah. La lady just started handing around sheets of music. Yeah. And I was thinking, I've come to help out backstage here. So, yeah. so yeah, I'm just humming along and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the evening, the chorus mistress came up to me and she says, I've been listening to you. She has got a lovely tone in your voice. Yeah. She said, uh, she said would, you, would you want to um, come and... Uh, audition. Yeah. I said, audition? I said, I've never been on a stage in my life. Really? So up to no. this point, uh, Johnny, you'd never, you'd never put yourself forward. You were, never. You were, you were just a printer. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. This, Singing printer. This is a good story, this. <laughs> yeah. And this is only 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah. Right. So what did you audition for? Uh, for the for the songs from the shows. Yeah. And uh, so off, uh, the, the following week I went along and, you know, because she, what she did was she she recorded uh, onto, a, onto a tape then, you know, because yeah. obviously MP3s and whatever was yeah. just sort of coming in. So she recorded a song, just playing it on the piano yeah. and off I toddle home. What was your first song? Oh, God, the first song was, if I remember rightly, uh, God, old, not Old Man River, the... Um, oh, but a good old-fashioned yeah. one, anyway. <laughs> way down upon the Swanee oh, River. Oh, way down upon yeah. the Swanee oh, yeah. River. That was the one. Yeah. And I was absolutely petrified. Yeah. I really was. So, uh, so I did this audition, yeah. and um, and she said, "Would you like to join the 
would you like to join the group? And yeah. I said, well, I said, I'd love to, you know, but I said, I've never been on stage. Six weeks later, I had a solo part. Oh, super. And um, I must say, I was petrified. But were, <laughs> but were you surprised at your own voice that you had this voice? Well, the thing was, is, I mean, people, uh, you know, you sing in the bath and, you know, yeah. and, and I knew I had a tone in my voice, but never, you know, I'd done a bit of karaoke and uh, yeah. like you do on holiday and blah, blah, yeah. blah. And, uh, but no, I never really... This, yeah, it just I just never saw myself being on a stage. Yeah, you know. And, oh, uh, well, that's yeah. A, that's a lovely yeah. story. And so once you actually sang in the show, was it on for one night or a couple of nights? It was on for three nights to begin with. Okay. And then I stayed with the um, the amateur dramatics. I stayed for about four years. Yeah. And um, the 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 people in the chorus said, "You're wasted. Why 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 are you doing this for nothing when you can yeah. you know?" And then it just started going to karaoke and right. whatever and um and off your way yeah well listen we're going to take a, a listen to you doing uh one of your new tri uh, new okay. diamond tributes now here he is johnny d what a beautiful noise <laughs> we go Johnny D who's uh, he goes out under his own name Johnny D but he's also a Neil Diamond tribute there he was with what a beautiful noise it was quite a nice noise as well Thank you. it has to be said <laughs> uh, what made you choose Neil Diamond well how I got to become uh, singing professionally in the beginning was because uh, people was telling me you know you you wasted doing free shows basically yeah. and uh, I used to I go to my local social club yeah. every Sunday evening without fail because there was always a turn on. Yeah. And uh, this particular evening, the, the turn that was on was a duo. Yeah. And I got talking to them and, you know, and I said, uh, I said, oh, I'm thinking about starting this. What's, you know, yeah. who's your agent? So they said, oh, we are actually agents ourselves as well. Right. And uh, so um, he said, uh, he gave me his card and I gave him a call and he says, when you've got some gear together, Give us a ring. So I got a PA and uh, 
learnt a few songs. And the rest is history. It is, it uh, is. Well, I tell you what, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back listening to more of the super voice of Johnny D after this. Thank you. 